Okay, so in order to get models out of God Hand, you will need quite a few things. You will need everything that's in here. You will need first a copy of God Hand, which is not too hard to obtain. You will need the Noesis plugin. You will need tools for the DAs and MDs. You will need the AFS Explorer. You will need Blender Source tools. And you'll need Noasis itself. So first things first, copy a God Hand. You want to download that and mount it. Then you will find this data.fss AFS file. You will need that and you're going to take it into the AFS folder. We're just going to paste it in here. Then we're going to open up AFS Explorer. We're going to go to File, Import AFS File. I think you can hit yes or no. I don't think it matters what you click. And here we go. Now we see all of the God Hand files. So we're going to grab a player file, which will be like PL. So we'll do PL00.dat. So we're going to export, downloads, God Hand Tools, AFS. We're going to export it here. Now we have pl00.dent. And we're going to move that over here. Now that we have the model extracted, we can open up the day tool with CMD. this and if you hit enter it will tell you how to use it so we're going to input one drag and drop the dat file hit enter and now we have the dat file extracted so we're going to open MD in a new window here's the model we're going to drag and drop it onto the MD tool. And now we have all the SMDs for the model. However, we're not done yet. Now we will need Noasis. So we're going to go to where I keep my Noasis. Then you're going to go into Plugins. Python and the Noasis plugins in here from the GitHub will be dragged and dropped. These two Py files will be dragged and dropped into the Python folder. You can see they're right there. Now we're going to open Noasis and we're going to file open file. We're going to go to this open the dat file and we can see it's gene so we're going to export and we are going to make a new folder and just name it extracted textures maybe if you could spell it right you know I'm a little bit of a fast typer and now we're just going to name it mesh export and now extract the textures and we have all of Gene's textures with their original alpha masks and everything intact so we can see there's his actual hair texture with original alpha channel and now that we have both the textures and the model exported we can go ahead and import it into blender so in order to install the source tools, you will go to Edit, Preferences, Install, and wherever you saved it, so God Hand Tools, and you will just double click the zip. Uh, it should show up here, and you'll just make sure that it's ticked. So now you can do File, Import, Source Engine, go to where you extracted everything, 
press A and then import and now we have Gene's model with the original skeleton intact although I think the naming scheme is a bit fucked that's okay and now we have all the hand meshes as well since this is not a cinematic model it just swaps between the hands so we'll just keep one pair of hands just use the fist okay now what we can do is a lot of the time you will have to redo the normals yourself so go into edit mode with tab after selecting a mesh select everything with A, it'll be highlighted orange you can press M by distance just in case sometimes the vertices aren't connected although you shouldn't always do that actually scratch that, you shouldn't do that at all with this mesh, sorry I'm used to other things but what you'll want to do is control shift N and recalculate it, recalculate it and then tick inside so it's recalculated outside you can also do this alternatively by going to alt N and clicking reset vectors average face area or set from faces, any of those work I recommend when doing this to go to here and turn on back face culling yeah you can see how fucked these normals are so you gotta fix them manually some normals will still be messed up so you will have to select them manually by normal with L so this is me pressing L and then we're going to alt N flip and you can see some of these are fucked too so we're just going to do alt n flip the belt is a little messy uh, the belt can take quite a uh, quite a bit of time to fix up uh, normally what I will do is just delete a set of them to keep one set of faces just to fix the normals because typically it's really hard to select these so I'll just get rid of a set of them so alt n set for faces calculate outside alt n reset vectors there we go control shift n outside reset vectors control shift n outside reset vectors you just gotta do this a lot things can get a little messy so you'll you might have to go in and individually adjust some of the normals or even adjust certain parts of the mesh these are old game models so they're a little difficult to work with and not exactly the most beginner friendly thing and then I need the inside of his hoodie you actually want to recalculate that one inside but once you've got the general basis of all the meshes down you can start applying the textures so we go into the shading tab zoom in on the mesh here go to here and you can see what material it has click use nodes and then we're going to go back to our extracted textures and this is his torso so it's going to use zero one and then you can go to specular turn down the IO R level there we go and then you can just start applying textures like that yeah, yeah. 
Uh, you'll notice one thing is that his cloth is missing. So we will need to find his cloth. Now I already have it labeled what it is for me. So we're going to go to files all, throw, DA tool. Uh, it is... Where is it? Gene cloth. Gene cloth. It is EL03. Although I believe there's multiple sets of his cloth. So, for the one that I want to use though is EL03. So, you would just find it here. EL, EL. There we go, EL03, export, downloads, God hand tools, okay. And you do the same thing with the other one. So, go to here, extract. Oh, whoops, wrong one. EL03. And then we will once again go to Noasis to do the textures, so refresh. And then we're going to export it. So f right click, export. Extracted textures, mesh two, export. So most of the textures were already in here, but we extract them anyway just in case. And then we go back to where we extracted the day. Go to the MD. Drag and drop it, drop it onto the MD tool. And then what we're going to want to do here is since they are two separate meshes with two entirely different skeletons, we're going to click make new armature. And then click on our new armature. And then append to target the rest of them. And now, in order to get it to position correctly in Blender, you're going to select the base in Pose Mode, and then go to here, Copy Transforms, and then we're going to go to the other skeleton, and right there. And you can just keep that there, and if you're planning on just posing him, it will now move correctly. Where is it? There we go. Now it moves with them. And then you would just go about your day, applying the textures, fixing the normals, finding out how it looks right, because it doesn't always look right. And there you go. The God Hand models in Blender, and ready to be textured and have their normals adjusted. Since the mesh exporter doesn't really export normals correctly. Now the other tool might. I haven't really tested. I only really use it for textures. But it definitely doesn't separate the meshes correctly is certainly something. But yeah, that's that.